Being lost in a foreign country, unless it's intentional, that's another story, is not fun. Here's how not to get lost in Japan. The sun is right up there and there's like leaves between me and the sun, so look at all these crazy patterns. So it's quite difficult to get 3G in Japan and you might not want to opt for the expensive Wi-Fi options. I always do because I can't get away from the internet. If you just want to ask somebody how to get somewhere, it's so simple. Just X Wado Kodeska. X is, you know, the place, just insert that in. So I want to get to a train station. Eki Wado Kodeska. Eki Wado Kodeska, Shibuya Wado Kodeska, Hotelu Wado Kodeska. Wa means is, Doko means where. Des means to be, but don't worry about that right now. And ka turns it into a question. Now, Japanese people pride themselves on their work, so if you ask them very clearly in Japanese, they'll either try their hardest to respond in English and point you in the right direction, or they'll walk you to a train station and really help you out. I've never had an issue as long as I ask politely in Japanese. Club wa... Clubs wa doko desu ka? Ah. Otera? Otera... Mm. Tempo? Ah... Mm, clubs... Uh... Amo never did find his nightclub. I shed a tear every night. Let's say you've lost something. While I was in Hiroshima a couple weeks ago, I lost my vlogging camera. It had 60 gigabytes worth of really important footage on it, stuff that I really wanted to keep, and I was really upset that I'd lost it. So I stopped the next bus, and I spoke to the driver, and I said, Basu de kamera o nakushita. Nakushita means lost, or in this context, I have lost. Basu is bus, densha is train, kuko is airport. Day comes after these place names, and it's like saying in or on, apart from it comes after the word. Simple. Kamera is quite obvious. You could replace that with Keitai, Toke, Kagi, Paspoto, all important things that you carry around with you. He gave me the phone number, Denwa Bango, of the bus company, and I went to go find a payphone. Koshu Denwa, Wadoko Deska. I spoke to the guy on the phone in very broken Nihongo. Um, it wasn't really working, so I said to the guy, Ego ga wakarimasu ka? Ego is English, wakarimas is understand. Ka makes it a question, do you understand English? He said, Ego ga wakarimasen. I don't understand English, but he did pass me on to somebody who did. He told me they found my camera and it was going to be on the bus on the opposite side of the road in exactly 24 minutes. Do you want to know when it showed up? In 24 minutes time. We don't get that in England. I thanked the guy, hung up the phone, thanked the bus driver, and the rest is history. Japan is an amazing and remarkably safe country, but the people there don't speak amazing English. These few phrases, they're all you need.